Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we create a report on tickets assigned to a specific group and add those reports on dashboards as well. So this is useful for a team manager maybe. For example, only they want to see how many tickets were assigned to them or how many tickets they actually worked on during last six months, but in a dashboard or in a report. For that, we will quickly go to service now. And I'm here on the report dashboard and I'll create a new report. If you don't know how to create reports in ServiceNow in a detailed manner, please click on the top right corner. I will now name the report as database incident number. So in this use case, I will be creating a report which will show me the number of incidents which were assigned to database group in last six months. I will keep the source type as table and then select the table name as incident and click on next and I will select here single score. So this is the type of the report and then I will click on next and it shows me 76 which is the total number of incidents in my dev instance. So in your instance it will be a huge number if you are working for an organization and then I will put a filter here and I will select assignment group and then I will give the name of the assignment group for example database you can choose your own groups and then I will save this report and we can see the total number of incidents assigned to database assignment group is 8 in total in this instance but if we want the incidents which were assigned to this group in last six months we can select opened open stores the date and time of the incident when it was actually opened or created and here I can click on this and I'll scroll it and I can select for example days if I want to see all the incidents which were raised today and are assigned to database yesterday tomorrow if you want to find anything in future you can use this functionality as well then last seven days and so on and then similarly you can do for the week and for months quarters and years now I will select here last six months so that will give me the incidents which were raised in last six months and were assigned to assignment group as database and I will save this and this number again came out to be 8 because this is a new instance and it showed me the total number of incidents of database assignment group. I have saved this report. I will create another report which will show all the incidents details of these incidents which are assigned to database in a list view for that I will go here and I will give the report name as maybe database incidents and I can say details and I will build a similar report here but instead of selecting type as single score I will select here list I selected this and I will click on next and I will give the similar conditions which I gave there and I can maybe say assignment group is database and opened on last six months and I will again save this report and it will show me all the incidents which were assigned to database group and were raised in last six months here I can choose the columns which I want to display in this report for example I want to show active whether these incidents are active or not or maybe I can remove any of these columns as well for example I don't need these updated details and I will click OK and I will again save this and now I can add these two reports on the dashboard and share that dashboard with the user who requested this if you don't know how to create dashboards from scratch and add those reports please click on the top right corner so I have already created a dashboard here called demo dashboard and I will add these re two reports which I just created. I will select reports from here and my two reports which I just created will appear here and I will add both of them one by one. I will go back and then select the details and I will add this as well. And now we can see both the reports are appearing here and now we can share this dashboard and reports as well to 
the user who requested it and it will start appearing to them and we can design these reports as we need maybe we can move this up and down according to how it looks good in your environment and finally if the user want to download these reports from this dashboard he can click on any of these headers and go here in export and click on excel csv xml json pdf in any format which he wants to download in and if we go back to report view we can again click on any of the headers here and then click on export and then we can select any of the output which we need excel csv or anything and then we can download those reports i hope this video was helpful to you please let me know in comments if you have any questions Please do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video.